Is this Chloe? What took you so long? You sing by your mama's for curry chicken or something? Excuse me? Don't you speak English? Where are you from? Actually, I was born here, but my parents are from Trinidad. Who cares? You're late. Uh, wait a second. Yeah, it's only been 29 minutes since uh, your order was placed. We guarantee 30 minute delivery. Do you want a medal for waiting the absolute last minute? Here it is. So we made sure your pizza is as per your request. Extra cheese and even the three extra dipping sauces. Hold up. These olives are green. Uh, yes. Your order said mushroom, bacon. I know what I ordered, you moron. I asked for black olives because green olives are disgusting. Uh, sorry. Don't they have black olives in your country? It's obvious you don't understand English or else I'd have black olives. I've seen you eat green olives before. Shut up, Casey. I want another pizza, but with black olives. Oh, oh hey, hey, can I have that pizza? Oh, I'm, I'm hungry now. Shut it. Pizza King doesn't have black olives, they only have green. I don't want excuses. Make it happen. Um, <clears throat> all right, I'll get it done. You have my word. Your word means nothing. I don't care where the hell you came from, but in this country, we don't make excuses. You got that? I want the pizza that I ordered with black olives, hot, fresh, and on time. Kabish? Whatever you say, I'll get it done. Ugh. What a loser. Think you were maybe a little hard on him? Okay, what is it with you today? Is he like your boyfriend or something? No. But that pizza smelled amazing. And now it's on its way back to the shop because you decided to be difficult. You're talking a lot of smack for someone who's getting a free pizza. Mm hmm And I've also seen you devour slices with green olives before. Okay, Pizza King is my dad's company. He built this entire thing from nothing. And this guy's vibe is totally ghetto. He doesn't care. I'm gonna nuke a Hot Pocket. Thank you so much, brother. You saved my skin. I'll leave you a good tip. Hi. So I got the pizza, and I even went down to Puccinello's, got black olives out of my own money. You're gonna love this. It's been 33 minutes. Do they not have clocks in Trinistan or whatever? Oh, yes, 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 come to Papa. Oh, hot, oh, hot, hot, hot. What are you still doing here? It's been 33 minutes. You don't seriously expect a tip, do you? My, my car broke down in Puccinella, so I had to order a ride share all the way here, that's why. I'm... Not my problem. Hi, Daddy. Your dad is the pizza king? How are you, Sam? Just fine, Mr. Hmm. King. Uh, you know him? I make a point to know all of my employees. How much we owe you, Sam? I, it's settled. I hope she left you a nice tip. Please. Oh, hi, Mr. King. <laughs> Actually... Yeah. Chloe, do you have something to say? Daddy, your employee did a terrible job. He completely messed up my order, and when he went back to fix it, it took him 33 minutes. I'm afraid that someone like this reflects terribly on your business. I see. Um... <laughs> these are black olives. How did these get on one of my pizzas? It's because, um... Let, um, Sam take this. When we received the order, it, it was for black olives, but uh, there must have been a mistake, and we ended up putting green olives on the pizza. When we found out about this, I took it upon myself to rectify it, and I took the pizza back. Went to Puccinello's, got black olives, 
topped it off and was he heading back here. Then my car broke down and then I had to uh, order a ride share and come here. And that's why it was a few minutes late. Chloe is right. Sam, how would you like to join us for a pizza? Dad? Casey. Yes, sir. If you had to use one word to describe my daughter's treatment of Sam today, what would it be? Um, rude. And, and low-key racist, in my opinion. Rude? Chloe, can you please explain to me why you felt it justified to be rude to Sam? Daddy, my whole life I've seen how hard you work to make sure that Pizza King is number one. I've seen how hard you work on weeknights, weekdays, because of your commitment to excellence. And then I see people like this riding your coattails, and it makes me sick. Chloe, I am truly, truly sorry. Sorry? Sorry for what? Maybe instead of spending so many hours at the office, obsessed with being the number one pizza brand, maybe I should have spent more time at home being the number one dad. While I was out there in boardrooms and kitchens chasing the perfect pizza, I think I let you down. I failed in helping you see what's truly important. You were a great role model. But somehow I missed the most important lesson of all. None of this pizza empire would be possible without the great people I've worked with for years. People like Sam. Like him? Are you serious? Very serious. Sam went above and beyond to make sure you're happy. He didn't know you're my daughter. But he failed. I failed thousands of times. But in every failure, there's a powerful lesson. But Sam is just a freaking delivery guy. And how do you think I started in this business 30 years ago? Mr. King? You used to deliver pizzas? I sure did. What kind of a lesson can you learn delivering a pizza? You don't need any skills. Anyone can do it. Delivering pizza taught me the most valuable lesson I've ever learned. More valuable than anything I learned in any university. And what is that? It taught me patience to deal with the most difficult people. Oh, snap! Sam, uh, what are your plans after high school? I was hoping of joining college, but it would probably take a few more years of saving up if I can even think of enrolling. I think you'd be a tremendous candidate for our executive scholarship program. We're always looking to develop bright and eager talent like yourself. We promote you to junior executive, let you run our delivery team while you get your college degree. Really? You actually see potential in him? With time, you'll be able to see that kind of quality in people too. You just need to walk in their shoes for a while. <laughs> Uh-oh. Wait, what do you mean? I was thinking delivering pizza would be the perfect summer job for you. Dad, that's ridiculous. That would make him my boss. I can't work for someone like him. What do you mean, someone like him? Whatever. I'm going to college next fall. I don't need this low-level crap on my resume. Chloe, let me make this perfectly clear. This is an opportunity you desperately need to build character so you can make it in this world. There's no point sending you to college until you learn humility and how to work with people. Wait, what are you saying? I'm saying if you don't take this job, you can forget about going to college. I can't believe you're making someone like him my boss. This is BS. <sighs> hmm? 
Mr. King, thank you. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I won't let you down, I promise. And hopefully, Chloe will come around in time. I hope you're right, Sam. Hey, Mr. King, if Chloe doesn't take it, I could always use the job. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>